problem number 20 of section 1.3.4, we're given a rather complicated looking function and asked to, ter to determine where is this function continuous and what are the maximal intervals or the maximum domains on which this function is continuous. So this looks really complicated, but the thing to keep in mind is that these are just rational functions, which are combinations of rational functions, which means that we have some polynomial in the numerator, some polynomial in the denominator, uh, and these things are continuous everywhere unless they're uh, undefined, unless they're equal to zero in the denominator. So, in which case, you know, we have a divide problem with dividing by zero. So, right here, like, for example, we can tell that the first term is not defined only when x equals minus two. So, rather than listing all the continuous points, which there are going to be infinitely many, we can just list out the points of discontinuity and figure out everything else, they're continuous everywhere else, and then just write out those intervals. So points of discontinuity of this function are going to be, well, x equals minus 2. And in the second term, we see that the, the j of x is going to be undefined if x is equal to 1. And in the second term, if x is equal to minus 2, then we're going to have a problem with the first part of the product. And we're also going to have a problem if x is equal to positive 1. All right, so we actually have the same point here twice. So know that the points are going to be negative 2, points of discontinuity, that is, are going to be negative 2, 1, and negative 2, right? So really just negative 2 and 1. All right, so that means that the function is going to be continuous everywhere on the intervals negative infinity to negative 2, and negative 2 to 1, and 1 to infinity. where the intervals I just mentioned are going to be open. So negative infinity to negative 2, negative 2 to 1, and 1 to infinity.